guy's gonna stand up. And so this is new to Dakota. We haven't learned this yet. So go ahead and go down. You're not gonna have that crossroads yet. So you're gonna, you're gonna, you're just gonna be underneath, and you're gonna go to a lock as he comes up. So when he comes up, boom, he goes to a lock, and he starts fight, fighting hands here. And so what, what Dakota's gonna do is he's gonna grab cross, cross wrist, yeah, here. And so he's gonna let that arm out. And as he does, he's going to jam his elbow. You know, let me, I'll, I'll do it, and then you're going to follow. And you're going to repeat all the details. You're going to reteach it. Okay, so we're here right now. He can attack whatever hand he wants. And as I hear, and I, and I grab a wrist, I'm going to keep this wrist here, and I'm going to throw my whole body the opposite side. And my elbow is going to go through his legs. My knee is going to stay behind. My legs are behind him. And I'm going to come right here. Stay in feet. Sorry, I forgot to warn you. Okay, stay in feet. So I'm here, and guys are going to stay on their feet. When I come here, this is where all my weight is. So I'm very light on this foot. I have this foot holding me up, like my little kickstand. Okay, and I'm driving. When I when I start to drive, my chest around his thigh, get my elbow in between his legs and my head here. I'm getting real heavy on this leg. Okay, and I'm just taking forward, forward, forward until he falls right into the tilt. We had a guy last year, he, he did this from the feet all his time. So, go down. So, guy stands up right here. Okay, and, and guys are always grabbing, grabbing hands here, so it's really easy to come in here and switch hands. Or a lot of times you can be here. Doesn't matter where they grab, but as soon as you grab a cross wrist, I'm gonna throw this wrist into this hip, and I'm changing sides, and all my weight goes Elbow, head, in between the legs, but I have to leave my feet behind. I don't want to come out to the side here. I'm going to leave my feet behind, and I'm going to come right here. This is where I'm at, right here, okay? So you notice my feet are behind him. This foot is holding me up, but really, a lot of my weight, there's no weight on this, and all my weight, I'm trying to shove it in between his legs, okay? And he can tell you it gets real heavy on his leg. And what they typically do is they try to stand up. So as I'm here, he's trying to stand up. And so now, as he's there, I'm gonna connect my knee and elbow, and I'm gonna get rid of my kickstand, and I'm gonna elbow down, and he goes right to his back. So, there's two ways, two ways to take it. There's forward and there's back, and, and they'll complement each other. Kind of like, you know, uh, going from a lift to running the pipe. So, as I'm here, I go here, he's trying to hold up, and I try to pull him back, and I take him forward again, right into the tail. So you'll take it, you take it forward and, and backward. Um, and again, you're gonna catch a wrist, uh, when a guy comes up, you'll catch a cross wrist, and just throw your weight. Again, the key is, I keep my feet behind his, and you notice it's really close to, to uh, connecting my knee and elbow right here. My knee and elbow right now are really close to connecting. So when I go back, it's easy to connect. If, if he happens to hit his knee and fall, as I'm going forward here, it's, it's in a roll. And then knee and elbow are ready to connect. Okay, which is important because in this turn, whether you're doing it from your feet, or from the mat, his counter, his counter is going to be uh, to slip that leg. So you know what I'm talking about when he rolls you, you're going to kick your leg. So, so yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So belly out when you go. So he's going to go here, and what he's going to do is he's really going to go this way, and he's going to kick that leg through. And if you don't trap that leg. He's gonna he's gonna belly out, so come back. You know what you're doing, Kobe? Okay. So as he rolls it, if he's late on connecting that knee and elbow, this is what it looks like. Or if the guy just catches, catches okay, and that'll happen, then guys will belly out uh, sometimes, but come back to again. But the coder knows what to do. So go ahead and give uh, 50, 75 percent, you know, but sort of kick out and give some defense the whole thing so and, and keep resting okay so he's gonna go go ahead okay 
so so right. So key key there is guys will guys will roll through, but you can go again right away. And a lot of times they pause and you'll connect that knee and elbow on the on the second go.